Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. You know, you you are a lot of things. Thank you. Yeah. I think. You know. <laughs> yeah. One thing that I am glad that you are not mm-hmm, mm-hmm. is someone who shoves your opinions down other people's throats. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I don't know where we're going with this, but let's go. I'm ready. Um, You know, it's, it's very interesting uh-huh. to me why some people feel the need to get really mad and angry. And just, like, start telling everyone how their opinion is wrong. Okay, I feel like, see, see, this is one of those things where you're, like, kind of caged about your... This is a very general topic. Yeah, it's, it feels very general. And then you say something about, like, I don't know, like Muslims. And then I'm like, whoa, whoa. I was when, do, cool. when does that happen? I'm just saying is that it feels very, like, you know, I hate it when other people try to do this thing. Don't you hate that, too? Yeah. The Jews. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> that does not happen with me. I'm just saying it feels that way. It feels like yeah, it's going I mean, in that well, direction. I just want your opinion on in general because like okay. cause I've cause here's my here's my thought, man. Yeah. I uh I uh-huh. don't is it bad? I don't know if I just I, don't care about anything enough to like tell everyone that they're wrong when they disagree with me. I don't know, man. I'm waiting for you to tell me what your point is here before I agree. <laughs> you, <gotta get laughs> you feel like this is so loaded and it's really wholesome and it's not. That, it feels very loaded. <laughs> tell me that I'm right, TNT. Just do it. <laughs> Come on. No, no, no. I'm just saying that like it, it's about – it's the generality of like that you – you feel so passionate about whatever, fill in the thing, like whether, I mean, it can be something super divisive, like abortion or super like silly, okay. like I like toast and you don't. Okay. And okay. and just like the, the fact that people get so riled up about something that they need to like throw it in someone's face or will have an argument with you that you're wrong about like liking waffles over toast or something. You know what I mean? Okay. So I, I will have to say is that depending on what the topic is, I agree with you, and depending on what type it is, I think you're completely out of line. Okay. So, there we go. If it comes to th- what toast you like, or avocado toast, or the way that the generation is, or the clothing you want to wear, or who you want to spend your life with, or who you want to love, or what you want to do with your body, then yeah, I think that it is kind of insane for you to shove your, your interests down in other people's faces, uh, or limit their ability to live the same type of lifestyle you wish to live, even though you don't share their same, I don't know. Um, you? I, yeah, their same viewpoint, their same aversions, and their, their same things that they, they enjoy. Um, but when it comes to certain things that uh, are for the betterment of society, then I, I think is that... Isn't that subjective in its own right? It is. It is very, very <laughs> subjective in its own well, right. Well... I guess one relevant point is like, you know, there's like a war going on that people are very much taking sides on, like Israel and Palestine. Yes. And both people feel they're very right for their own reasons. And I'm not going to get into the who who I feel is wrong or right. But, you know, but then people are just like like getting in fights with family members because one, you know, it's like because I think this is right and that is the other. And it's it's. You know, there's very valid reasons that each people have that feel, you know, and that's just an example. Yeah, but, yeah. but, you know, it's something is that's a very subjective thing. You, you feel one way or the other about it. Right. Like, mm-hmm. but also you can also feel that way and not like get in fights with people about it. <laughs> right. Am I wrong? Am I just am I too like mellow? Um, I would have to say is that I don't think that it, you generally get anybody to change their perspective by getting into a heated altercation with them. That's not the way you do that. No. <laughs> um, the way you do it is you have the way you change anybody's viewpoint is you sit down, you have a conversation with them, use open ended questioning and you say, what do you think the other side thinks? That usually is a very helpful way to help other people see from another person's perspective. What do you think that this person is thinking when they see and they when they feel this way? Then they have okay. to put then they have to put themselves in the shoes of the of the other individual. So I would say is that like no, yelling at across the Thanksgiving table is not the way to get your point across. It's never the way. But people feel strongly in about certain things and I would never take away their right to uh voice their opinion. That's what America's built on. I like when people voice their opinions. 
good. You should because that's what America's built on. Yeah, that's but I, what America's I, built on. I feel like you're being very diplomatic. Um, I am being diplomatic, but that is honestly the way I feel. I I I feel like freedom of speech is one of the most beautiful things that we have in this country. There's countries where you can't say what you want to say. You know? Dude, could imagine how wild it would be to like not be able to um. Like, be like, oh, I think the president's doing a bad job. Yeah, I know, right? Exactly. Like, they'll, like, take you to jail and murder you? Kill your family? Exactly. I have to say is that I honestly feel like America is a country of spoiled fucking babies. Can I say that? Oh, can we fight about that? Can I say that right now? Can I, can I say it down my throat? I feel like America, we have, like, some like the most, what do you call it, disposable income of any other country. And that, you know, truth, not facts. I feel that we are doing all right. I feel like we have more opportunities for the majority of people than most other countries. And I feel like everybody here is just like, you know, we're stuck on fucking protesting. And I feel like certain things deserve to be protested against. But then once a certain group feels like they got to they gotta protest and another group feels like they got to protest. Now we're in this fucking protest downward spiral or borrow cycle and it's it's annoying and everybody's annoyed and Biden's going to lose and we're going to have four more years of fucking Trump because nobody wants to vote for anybody competent anymore. We want sensationalism. We want fucking just like the next superstar wrestler president. I'm done. I'm not voting for the guy from the Young Turks either. Fuck him too. Wow. I don't even know what the Young Turks is. Yeah, well, I wouldn't expect you to. Why is it something that young people know about? No. It's the oldest internet show on the internet, I think. It's one of the oldest shows on the internet. Some guy from old It's school? some super liberal fucking like uh, news channel. And I use the word news lightly in oh, quotation. Oh, it's like Rebart on the other side? Yes, it's okay. it's it's liberal Breitbart. Yes, okay, that's it. <laughs> liberal Breitbart is perfect. Okay, so they're they're Pizza Gators. No, no, the Pizza Gators on the. I don't know enough about it. I don't know, man. I, I still feel like like there's things that we need to take a stand on because if you don't, nothing will change. So is it about shoving it down people's throat? No, I feel like it's more about normalization, but it, it, it kind of depends on what side of the aisle you lie on, man. What do you feel? What do you like? Because a lot of people are going to be like, I don't want, I don't think that the homosexuality should be accepted in this country because there's many, many countries where it's not accepted. Right. Um, I feel like that's an antiquated way of thinking. Other people feel differently. Who's wrong to say that we are wrong on either side of the aisle? I don't know. Only God can judge me, dog. That part, that part is true. I would say is that where there's a difference in opinion about it, how about you just not even mind your business? Just, just mind your fucking business. That is my point. Yeah. The name of this episode is Mind Your Business So if, for a reason. <laughs> so if you think there should be abortion and I think there shouldn't be abortion, how about we mind our business? Right. If I'm not trying to get you to abort, then... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm not aborting you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know? And you you feel like, uh, what? You feel like Derek Chauvin should have been stabbed? I feel like he should have. should have gave him a gold plate? I feel like he should have gotten the death penalty. How about we mind our business? Yeah, I mean, I don't talk to people about things. <laughs> ever. <laughs> you don't talk about, you don't talk to people about things, but you definitely have a perspective. Yeah. It's, it's impossible for you not to have a perspective. I have a perspective too. Yeah, I have a perspective, but I guess my, yeah, I guess the whole point of all of it is like, I respect that whatever you think is your opinion and I'm not going to judge you on that. Yeah. Like, I'll judge you on how you treat me. Mm -hmm. And other than that, like, unless you're like out hurting kids and animals and shit, like, what do I... But even even that way of thinking is something that you've attained through living in an echo chamber. Enlightenment? Buddha? In, a, in an echo chamber. Yeah. You've been living in an echo chamber. An echo chamber of like... You surround chill? yourself with people who think similarly because I think similarly to you and I will 100% admit that you are a part of my echo chamber. So congratulations. Wow, we echoing, dude? Oh, yeah. We have similar thought processes, well, similar I mean, beliefs. You're not structures. wrong because, like, if we grew up in an area that was 
racist or whatever, and everyone was very aggressive and racist all the time, <laughs> you would be like, you, all you, the time. you would think <laughs> aggressive racism is normal. Yeah, yeah, so if like if you're at the time. dinner table screaming screaming about racism, <laughs> I don't know if people do people do that. I don't know. I've never I've never grown up in a white household. You tell me. <laughs> I I could tell you I that in my black know. household, no, we didn't scream about what white man did every day. No, ah, sit down to eat some corn. Yeah, and you're like, goddamn white man picked this corn up yeah, out of the field I, today. I generally got asked, "What did I do with my friends?" and "What did I learn in school today?" That was that was a general conversation. Yeah, yeah. If, what was the white devil doing? You know, <laughs> no one said that. Yeah, so that that didn't happen at my, my no, black no. Dinner table. But yeah, I feel I feel you, man. And you're not. I mean, you're not wrong because I mean that. And that's how people get in those rabbit holes. They're lonely folks. They get on the internet. They find other people that think maybe something that they think, and they're like, "Come be with us, man." Yeah. Yeah. Now, like, look, I have to say is that the government serves a purpose in, in this, and that is, is that the government kind of dictates the way the country is leaning towards certain uh, certain things that have this contention. So are we going to be a country that legalizes marijuana? That's going to affect the way people view that. For generations, not yeah, just in the now. I, I guess a lot of people side with like if it's if it's if the government agrees, it's my view. If they don't, it's not my view. And so like, yeah. when you look at something like gay marriage, what's the view for the government right there? Right. there look, we don't like, care if you do it. We ain't gonna. We not gonna let it be a federal thing that you get. Uh, that you can get married. We allow it to happen in the country, but you got to find a state that's gonna do it for you. It's a very we'll look the other way, but we're not a hundred percent on board. Well, it's like the and that's the way that, that, that uh, the people, that, that are people doing. where they could they were selling weed and stuff, but mm -hmm. like it was federally legal. But the state, like all every state right now. The state has it legal, but the government could go in and arrest everyone exactly, if they wanted to. Exactly. So, yeah, they keep it very gray, so then they can uh, divide everyone. I feel like it, I feel like it's more just like they're being the tastemaker. They're being the the curator of the mood of the generations of America. Are they trendsetters? They have to be. They have. I mean, to what be. else is going to set a trend besides old Joey B? Because if they don't Donnie do it, T. exactly. If they don't do it, God knows who would be. Somebody's got to fulfill that role, and they can do it the easiest because they control the law. So you know. Yeah, that's a good point. If you don't, if you don't fall in line with what they think, you go to jail. That's a good perspective. That's why I like talking to you, man. Go to crazytown.com uh, for Jonas. Do you think? Oh, yep. <laughs>